So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session guys we are going to talk about the PIB news from 24th to 26th of September 2022. And in today's session there are some very very important questions which are definitely coming in your upcoming NABARD phase 2 and the RBI grade B 2023. All right. So let's begin with the session guys without any delay but before we begin If you want to have the PDF of this session with mark dancers you can join the telegram channel and the link for telegram channel is provided in the description all right so let's talk about the very first question which says which ministry has launched the innovation road map of the mission integrated bio refineries to fill the void by identifying gaps and challenges in the current bio refining value chains So basically, there is a roadmap of mission integrated bio refineries which has been launched uh, by this ministry. Of course, guys, this ministry is Ministry of Science and Technology, and it was launched by Minister of Science and Technology, who is Dr. Jitendra Singh, during an event at the Global Clean Energy Action Forum, which is going on in USA. And I hope हम सब ने पढ़ा था ये भी और आप सबको याद होगा कि that Uh, global clean energy action forum is attended by doctor is being attended by dr jitendra singh from india side right and there during an event he announced this he launched this innovation road map of the mission integrated bio refineries all right now what is the objective of this road map why this road map has been launched so th with the with the help of this road map all the challenges in the area of bio refinery a value chain will be identified and all the challenges will be overcome right and then this road map will provide policy makers with a strategy framework now what they will do with this strategy framework so they will establish a research development and demonstration portfolio over the next 5 years in the coming 5 years the stakeholders the this road map will provide all the policy makers with a strategy framework with a regulatory framework to develop research development and demonstration portfolio over the next 5 years all right and remember this road map has been developed uh, with the collaboration of various countries and agencies like brazil canada european commission and united kingdom all right and therefore the correct answer is what ministry of science and technology headed by dr jitendra singh and remember dr jitendra singh is also the minister of earth sciences let's talk about question number 2 then under which program it has signed an mou which not it it should be csir has signed an mou with royal society of chemistry to promote chemical sciences uh, in schools and universities schools or universities mein chemistry ko promote karne ke liye csir ne mou sign kiya hai uh, with royal society of chemistry under which program this mou has been signed the question is this right remember this royal society of chemistry is a uk based society which has the objective of inculcating the education regarding chemical sciences across the world right basically chemical science ko promote karna is the objective of this royal society of chemistry and it is a uk based society right and this mou remember guys has been signed under jigyasa program of csir this program is being implemented by csir only right and who is the president of csir by the way the csir president is prime minister of india right csir ke president kon hote hain prime minister of india hote hain and bas yahi cheeze hain in is question mein that royal society of chemistry and csir both have signed an mou to promote chemical sciences in schools and universities this mou has been signed under jigyasa program and this will be a non financial mou and will be time bound for at least 3 years kam se kam 3 saal tak dono ek dusre ka support karenge for promoting chemistry in schools and universities in india all right so therefore the correct answer is what the correct answer is jigyasa option a will be the correct answer moving ahead to question number 3 the ninth session of the governing body of international treaty on plant genetic resources for food and agriculture ITP GRFA इसके बारे में वी हैव डिस्कस रिसेंटली इन वन ऑफ द पी आई बी सेशन रिमेंबर इट इज इट इज वन ऑफ दर्गन ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन एंड इट इज हेड क्वार्टर इन रोम विच इज इन इटली ऑफ कोर्स एंड सो इट वॉज कंक्लूडेड इन न्यू दिल्ली नाउ राइट इट्स इट्स नाइन्थ सेशन ऑफ गवर्निंग बॉडी 
uh, was going on in New Delhi and it has been concluded now. During the session, Federation of Seed Industry of India has contributed certain amount to benefit sharing fund of the treaty. How much amount has been contributed by the Federation? So first of all, what is this benefit sharing fund of the treaty? Let's talk about it. Remember this benefit sharing fund. It is nothing but a fund mechanism of the treaty. And with the help of this fund, the capacity building, right? Capacity building, conservation and sustainable use projects among the contracting parties are promoted. Right? Basically, the contracting parties in this treaty are उन देशों में कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग का काम किया जाता है वहां पे कंजर्वेशन और सस्टेनेबल प्रोजेक्ट्स के ऊपर काम किया जाता है राइट एंड द फेडरेशन ऑफ सीड इंडस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया हैज कमिटेड रुपीस 20 लाख टुवर्ड्स दिस फंड ड्यूरिंग दिस सेशन एंड फाइनली एक चीज और हुई थी इसमें ड्यूरिंग दिस इवेंट दैट इंडिया हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज को चेयर ऑफ वर्किंग ग्रुप ऑन एनहांसमेंट ऑफ मल्टीलैटरल सिस्टम इसकी डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है देयर इज नो नीड टू गो इनटू द डिटेल्स जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट इंडिया through federation of seed industry of india has contributed has committed to contribute rupees 20 lakh to the benefit sharing fund of this organization which is itp grfa right so therefore the correct answer is what option c rupees 20 lakhs all right moving ahead to question number next question ministry of environment forest and climate change is my question number dalne reh gaye hain but don't worry in the pdf you will get the question numbers Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has released guidelines on Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan ranking of cities under National Clean Air Program. How many cities will be ranked under the Sarvekshan? How many cities will be ranked under the Sarvekshan? That is the question, right? So this is guys a very very important question. I believe you have to ask in any exam. And remember it has not been launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Generally, ऐसा होता है कि कहीं पे भी सर्वेक्षण की और स्वच्छता की बात आती है तो आंसर इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स बट दिस टाइम इट इज नॉट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स बिकॉज़ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वायु सर्वेक्षण वायु मींस व्हाट एयर सो व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एयर द मिनिस्ट्री शुड बी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड नॉट द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स ऑलराइट प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज हैज रिलीज्ड द गाइडलाइंस ऑन स्वच्छ वायु सर्वेक्षण and under this surveyction, uh, the cities will be ranked based on the National Clean Air Program, based on the implementation of National Clean Air Program. Okay. And the surveyction, remember, will rank 131 cities in the countries. And these cities are those which are implementing city action plans. Right? These cities are those which are implementing city action plans prepared as a part of National Clean Air Program for reducing air pollution by 40% by financial year 2026. All right. So how these 131 cities are performing, all these things will be ranked in this such Vayu Sarvekshan. And these 131 cities, remember, are divided into three categories, which are these. Number one, <coughs> cities with population more than 10 lakh, there are 47 cities. Then population between 3 and 10 lakh, 44 cities. And then population less than 3 lakh, and there are 40 cities in this third category. All right. Now, these cities, these 131 cities are required to do the self-assessment as per the framework provided on the Pran online portal. And this portal, remember, is being managed by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. And who is the minister by them? It's Mr. Bhopendra Yadav and he is also the minister of labor and employment. Right. And these cities have to report implementation of activities and measures regarding Solid waste management, road dust management, management of construction and demolition waste, and control of vehicular emissions and industrial pollution. All right. These four things you don't have to remember. It is just for the basic understanding that in which areas these cities will be mapped. Okay. So now let's come back to the question. How many cities will be ranked under the selection? 131. Option E is the correct answer. I hope guys this question is clear. Moving ahead to question number, next question. Name the competition launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs to make toys from waste. Very easy question and very direct question. And this detail may be jaane ki zarad nahi hai. You will, if, if this question is asked in the examination from this, if any question comes in your examination from this news, the question will be this only, right? The name of this uh, competition is Such Toy Kathan. 
right swatch tigerdon is the uh, name of this uh, competition and remember the name of the ministry which ministry has launched it ministry of housing and urban affairs headed by hardeep singh puri and hardeep singh puri is also the minister of petroleum and natural gas okay so swatch tiger toy kathon is the name of the competition and it has been launched under national action plan for toys which was launched in the year 2020 and swatch bharat mission 2.0 the basic objective of this competition is to utilize the waste and with that waste toys will be made right ki kon individual ya kon sa group waste ki madad se kitne acche toys bana sakta hai that is the objective of the uh, this competition all right and it will be hosted on my jovis innovate india portal all right so that is all about this news and now i have already told you the answer it is swatch toy kathon which is the name of this competition all right moving ahead to the next question consider the following statements with respect to fund of funds for startups and you have to identify the correct statement now you must be wondering that it is ye to humne pehle bhi padha hua hai it is nothing new then why we are discussing it because it is in news jo news hai that is not important for the examination but yes since it appears in one of the releases of pib so they can ask you question from this right so fund of funds for startup why it is in news first of all let's talk about that so as on 24 september 2022 fund of funds for startups has committed rupees 7385 crores to 88 alternative investment funds right abhi tak as on 24 september 2022 inhone 7385 crore rupees commit kar diye hain to 88 alternative investment fund now what is the meaning of alternative investment fund remember these funds are first of all registered with sebi incorporated in india right these are registered with sebi incorporated in india and they acquire fund from specific investors and then invest it in various ventures let's say for example this a is an alternative investment fund this a has acquired some fund from let's say b c d and e these are the four investors right and let's say it has acquired rupees 10000 crores and this 10000 crore will be invested in various ventures or the startups all right so that is the meaning of alternative investment fund and it is an entity which is incorporated in india right and and these investors however can be indian or foreign ye jo investor jahan se ye a paisa le raha hai these investors can be indian or global all right but this a should be incorporated in india and should it should be registered with sebi all right so till now uh, fund of funds for startup has committed 7385 crores to 88 alternative investment funds and it was launched in the year 2016 under of course startup india initiative with a total corpus of rupees 10000 crore now which agency which ministry is providing this total corpus to this fund so it is dpiit which is department for promotion of industry and internal trade it works under the ministry of commerce and industry all right and under this fund support is extended to sebi registered alternative investment fund which is which in turn invest in startups as i told you all right so now let's come back to the question it was launched under startup india initiative in 2015 no it was launched in 2016 the total corpus of fund is 20000 crore is that so no it is 10000 crore not 20000 crores the budgetary support is provided by department of revenue no not department of revenue it is department of department for promotion of industry and internal trade so all the statements are incorrect here which means option d is the correct answer let's talk about the next question then ministry of health and family welfare very very important question aap ye samajh lo ki aapke exam ka ek question leak ho chuka hai right to ye to aane hi aana hai koi nahi rok sakta ministry of health and family welfare headed by mansukh mandavia who is also the minister of chemical and fertilizer has awarded the best performing states uts and districts for implementing pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana which of the following state or ut is the top performing state or ut among all the states and ut now remember these awards have been given on the occasion of completion of fourth year of pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana which is a component of of course ayushman bharat yojana and completion of first year of aishman bharat digital mission all right so that is the occasion and on this occasion these awards have been given and now let's talk about the awards 
So the top performing state or UT among all the states and UTs, it is Andhra Pradesh. Top performing district across the country, Parvati Puram Manyam, which is again in Andhra Pradesh. All right. Top performing government facility is the district hospital Dharwad, which is in Karnataka. And winner of Aishman Bharat Digital Mission Hackathon Series Round 1, it is Bajaj Finsar Health Team Excalibur. All right. So these are the four awards that you have to remember. और बहुत आसान है दो तो आंध्र प्रदेश हो गया एक कर्नाटक हो गया एक एक्सकैलिबर हो गया दैट इज इट और राइट सो विच स्टेट और यूटी इज द बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग इट इज आंध्र प्रदेश ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच मिनिस्ट्री हैज लॉन्च द जलदूत ऐप टू कैप्चर दी वॉटर लेवल ऑफ सिलेक्टेड लेवल इन अ विलेज सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एप द ग्राउंड वॉटर द लेवल्स ऑफ ग्राउंड वॉटर विल बी मेजर्ड बेसिकली वेल को वेल का जब लेवल मेजर करेंगे तो ऑटोमेटिकली द लेवल ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर इज बीइंग मेजर्ड और राइट सो दिस इज फॉर बेसिकली यू नो मेजरिंग द लेवल्स ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर एंड द नेम ऑफ द ऐप वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज जलदूत ऐप एंड रिमेंबर इट हैज नॉट बीन लॉन्च्ड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति प्लीज डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज इट हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट व्हिच इज हेडेड बाय गिरिराज सिंह राइट नाउ प्लीज डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वाटर a ground water measurement it is not uh, the ministry should be i agree the ministry should be the ministry of jal shakti but it is not it is ministry of rural development all right so option d is the correct answer in view of the prevailing volatile global economic and geopolitical situation government of india has extended the foreign trade policy which was to be ended by the end of 2020 but now it has been extended so many times and again it has been extended so up to which date the policy has been extended it has been extended by 6 more months starting from 1st of october 2022 to 31st march 2023 so option a will be the correct answer moving ahead where has the minister of agriculture and farmers welfare narain singh tomar laid the foundation stone of an organic seed farm of the national seed corporation So remember this organic seed farm of the NSC, that is National Seed Corporation. The foundation stone has been laid laid down by the Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare in his own Lok Sabha constituency. And what is the Lok Sabha constituency of NSC Tomar? It is Morena, which is in Madhya Pradesh. Option A. And the last question for today: Name the virtual conference organized by the Ministry of Development of North Eastern Region, which is headed by G Kishan Reddy. GKR and he is also the minister of tourism and culture as well all right to give a boost to tourism sector in the north eastern states so you just have to name this virtual conference that is it it is symphony option b is the correct answer symphony all right and that's it for today's session i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next session on uh, friday all right so thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless